Hey everybody, welcome back to Devil May Cry HD Collection. This let's play is brought to you by watchgames.ca. Mind here with you, of course. So, of course, we're doing Devil May Cry 1. <laughs> Devil May Cry 1. Not 2, not 3, not 4, not like 4, not DMC. And of course, there's Devil May Cry 5 coming out. Because it was announced last week at E3. Which actually looks pretty good. Anyway. Uh, sorry that there hasn't been many, many Devil May Cry's, but I'm going to start getting back into this, I promise. Uh, today is actually Father's Day, so... I'm recording this about two hours before the WWE Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Uh, it's coming up, so I don't know who's going to win the Money in the Bank. For some reason, I've heard rumors that, uh, the winner for the Raw Women's, uh, for the winner of the... The winner of the Women's Money in the Bank is coming from Raw. And rumors are the SmackDown and the Superstar, SmackDown Superstar is going to win the men's. A lot of people are thinking it might be from the women's. A lot of people are thinking Natalia and for the men's, the men's. be honest, I'm thinking that for the women's, I don't see it being Natalia. I think it's going to be... Well, the spot Natalia, Sasha Banks, Moon Moon, and Alexa Voice. And they last off. If Va wins the women's money bank, Va well, beat up these desert type guys with shields, and if you have a grenade launcher here, and there's a rocket launcher, uh, it's a good idea because you can, like, you know, just run them easily. Um, uh, if I know WWE, the way they're going to open the paper, if a Va superstar on the women's side is going to win that match, I don't see Natalia doing it, sorry. Unless Ronda Rousey beats Nia Jax. For the women's title. Uh, or she doesn't accept it. No, and Ronda Rousey. No, I don't know. Natalia for you. I don't see Sasha Banks winning, to be honest. Because I don't think right now WWE wants to push Sasha as a champion. Plus, every time she wins the title, she loses it in the first title event, uh, in the next title defense anyway. That's the way they usually do it with her. And I think Emma Moon, she's just been on the roster for two months, the main roster. I don't see her winning. So basically what I'm saying is, if a Val Woman's superstar wins that money bank, I'm banking on Alexa Bliss. If a SmackDown superstar wins that match, probably Becky Lynch. But, to be honest, I think that match, Alexa Bliss is going to win, because she has history at Nia Jax. So if somehow Nia Jax keeps her title, she'd probably cash in on Nia. Um, well, I think Braun Strowman is winning. You know he's wrong, I think Braun Strowman is winning. Just because I got you know, suck him versus Brock Lesnar. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah. By the time you see this video, though, uh, which should be Wednesday, the 20th, hmm, Money Bank be over. I might even put in Nina Tani in the description or something. If I find out, or like annotations or whatever, the hell, whatever, find something if I find out. Be like, oh yeah, I was right, or I was wrong. Probably not, though. Okay, so, let's see. If I remember correctly, I believe I gotta go to this side. I believe. Oh, I, can, I can't climb the ladder. I just gotta double jump. Right, double jump. Um, uh, double steps. And I know there's a devil trigger in here or something. They gotta. Yeah. Okay. Might be on this side. I'm not sure. It might be on the other side. They gotta strike with your sword a bunch of times, and nope, it's in here. Okay, it's right here. Let's get that first. Okay. It's a good thing when you practice this a bit. So, okay. So these floating platforms, some of them are gonna move up and down and stuff like that. When well, you basically need to jump from platform to platform to get to the top, where that fires to, and that's actually gonna be a cool upgrade. So I'm also going to have like a Final Fantasy type name for what it is. Oh, I know. So, it's not just Final Fantasy, other things too, but I mainly know it from Final Fantasy. Um, 
Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna take my time. I don't want to fall. I won't die, but anyway, I don't want to fall. I have to do it all over again. Okay. So this is the inscription. Okay, my name. If let's see, if you play Final Fantasy, you know there's a summon or guardian force or Aeon or ah. You do I know something or Indico, whatever it's called, but one of the Call Um no, it goes by different names like summons and stuff like Guardian Forces, whatever the hell it is. But now if you're watching New Fibongos Let's Play of Final Fantasy VIII, then you know it's called Guardian Force. If you end up watching my Final Fantasy IX LP on this channel, then you know it's different. If you watch my Final Fantasy VII, you know it's Summon. If you watch Final Fantasy play Final Fantasy X, it's Aeon. Um by the way, I will be doing Final Fantasy IX, Armor Games Guides, later this year. Sometime after that, just too little. By an artist. <laughs> and I've already started recording Final Fantasy IX for that channel. And I'm not even done finishing. Um, Tumino, yeah. I'm not even halfway through Tumino, probably. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go down and kill those puppets. Don't, don't worry, I just wanna get this first. Okay. Alright, so let's use it for it. The freaking, what's it called? Uh, Devil Arm? Yeah, Devil Arm. Oh, look, we got an achievement. What the hell? How the hell did I get damaged? Oh, he threw his freaking sickles at me. Bastard. Okay, I'm pretty much fully healed. Almost fully healed. Right. Yeah, but anyway. Let's go through this gate, and I believe this is going to trigger another scene. Yep. Oh, this guy looks pretty cool. <laughs> Red lightning. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so St. F.R.P. kind of turned it up a bit. <laughs> uh, Dante. Okay, seriously. Um, there's different ways of getting, uh, getting this guy. I'm pretty much dead. Yeah, you want to jump over those? Uh, I'm pretty much going to just keep, keep, try to keep my distance a bit. And uh, fire at him with my uh, launcher here. And basically, yeah, we're taking the. As he gets close to me. Now if he gets close like this, you can actually get on top of his back, I believe, and kind of like this and kind of um you know, attack him there. I could also just um you know, if he gets close to me and stop doing that bullshit thing. I can pretty much put in my devil point, uh, devil point, uh, whatever it's called, devil trigger, and, um, uh, basically, go to town but to do that I would have to go into the menu and take off it for it, and put on the sword again, and use the sword again, and right now, I'm not gonna do that. I think I can activate it anyway, it for it, uh, devil point, uh, with the arm anyway. Some of them are low, some of them are high. Okay. Oh, that was high. I shouldn't have jumped. Okay. Oh, no. This bass is about to die. <laughs> this bass is dead. Ha <laughs> Not fully healed, but needless to say, we kicked its ass. All right, so we gotta go this way. We gotta light the other torch, and of course, you need to have the devil on Ifrit already activated, which we do. Okay. Oh, well, hello. 
I'm just going to uh, keep firing this long shield because it arrow targets. So, I think you fired. We're actually almost done this mission. Oh, hello. Oh, hello again. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Yes, I just fought it right over here. Uh, I think it was a thing it was on. Yeah, it was fine with you. I'm pretty sure. Uh, hello, let's just gonna beat you off the old way here. Yeah, uh, so I've been told in one and two at the time of recording this, the last night we called it Star Week 1 and by a new Let's Play, for much games. I'm not going to divulge the name of the Let's Play. But um, or the name of the game, yeah, yeah. or the name of the Let's Play, yeah. it's just technically proof, it's the game. But uh, let's just say, it's going to be one that you're going to like, and it's not that kind of game. It is Konami game, and it is Konami game. I will give you that. Alright. Let's go from here. I believe... Yep. Let's go now. I think I'm going to actually decide to do an upgrade on Ifrit. Yeah, because it can get air shrink. Or air height, or whatever. I think I'm going to do the medium level 1 and probably the magma driver drive. Or maybe I should do kick 3. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that one. Okay. So let's go down here. I think there's a couple more puppets. There's not many. And once they're dead, we can basically go to the end of the level. Ooh, I don't know if that's seven years bad luck or whatever for just short it to us down. I don't know. I believe there's something up here. Yes, there is. There's another item. Not worried too much about it. Okay. And over here, if you want to get more red orbs, you can beat the shit out of this for it. Okay. Let's jump down. Go over here. Yes, yeah, so you need two hundred better orbs to open that door. And I believe that is the ending of the mission. There we go. Bird of play. Cool. Here's the achievement we got. Hunter C. Okay, that probably took too long to do it. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video here and in the next part, take on the next mission in uh, this game. Peace out.